Ha ha. You fucking little cuckolds. Huh? I didn't know Marcus was here. I wish I was with them. I love fluffing dicks for Jan, and I love watching Marcus fuck my wife with his big black cock. It makes her so happy. Oh no, I'm starting to get, oh, this new cage. It hurts. Oh god, that sounded so good. Sissy. Quit yapping in your pathetic man voice, so I can get fucked. Go downstairs, and make our guest a drink. Right now. Yes, Mistress Jen. Right away, ma'am. My goodness, that certainly was a good fuck. I made you and Marcus a drink, Mistress Jen. Oh, don't worry, you will be seeing my lover soon enough. My little maid. Neil, bitch. Yes, ma'am. Good girl. How's your little clitty feeling? I heard you crying behind the door. Did those nasty points of intrigue not agree with your little peepee -pee stiffening up, while you listen to your wife get fucked by a real man? No, ma'am. It hurt really bad. Good. I don't remember giving little Miss Pink Prick permission to a get hard anyway. Nor do I, remember giving you the privilege of listening to me having sex. This pussy is off limits to you. You're lucky I'm letting you remain in the same room with it. Much less letting you listen to it get fucked. That privilege is for good little guckies and sissies who don't fuck up all the time. Until you learn how to suck dick better and Marcus ungrounds you. The bedroom and even the door are off limits. You want to do better don't you? I know you love sucking cocks and you want to get back into the room with me right? Yes ma'am. I really do. Good. Cause I miss having my little cream pie eating girl, in the bedroom, licking my clit, kissing my ass, and worshipping my feet while I take all that cock. You are not the only one suffering here. Marcus loves having his balls licked while he's fucking. So he misses you too, but this is for your own good, you are our sissy, and need to be properly trained, to service the man of this house. Still, I do owe you for your birthday, so you will be getting that sex I promise tonight. We are all going out this evening, and since today is George's birthday, Wendy will be letting him have some sex too. You mean it Jen? I can really have sex tonight? I know you better sit your little, homo ass back down or you get nothing. Sorry mistress. Will I even get to come? You sure will. How long has it been? Three? Four weeks? Since I gave you those few minutes to squat over the toilet like a little bitch, and rub one out. Right before I flushed your worthless excuse of a load. Say goodbye, to that weak, white seed. Worthless. Isn't it? Get on your knees, sissy, and dance your wife. Yes, sir. My cum is completely worthless. And what about my cum? Oh no, Master Marcus. Your sperm is priceless. I would never let your potent load go to waste. You better not, sissy. Thank my lover for saving some of that load in a condom for you, when we fuck at those interracial parties or out of town. Like a little gucky doggy bag. Ha ha. Thank you, 
Master Marcus. Sir. You're welcome. Slut. Good. Now run your little sissy ass in there and get your chastity device. It's back in the cage with you. Yes, mistress. Thank you for letting me come. You're welcome, my little sissy Chrissy. Now run. Ha ha. I flushed your weak ass cuckold sperm down the toilet. Right in front of my bowl, and you thanked me for it. In fact, look me in the eyes and thank me for everything. Thank me for cucking you. For feminizing you and controlling your little wee wee. For making you my housemaid and keeping you in line. Thank me for denying you my pussy forever. You can't hide it Chrissy. I do these things for my pleasure. But I also do them because I know this is what you want. Even if you still feel shame, it's getting harder for you to deny it. This is your place. This is where you belong. You love when I fuck other men, with bigger dicks than you. You love wearing your new girl clothes, and taking care of my house for me. You love to worship and fluff cocks for me. You love when I humiliate you, and call you names. Like, fag. Don't you, faggot? Is that little pee pee getting hard in your cage again? Faggot? Oh. Ah. Uh. You see. The spikes don't lie do they? No ma'am. So thank me. I'm waiting. Thank you, Jen for making me your sweet sissy cuckold. Thank you for making my dreams come true. Thank you for letting me blow superior men. So you can fuck them in our marital bed. Ah. Ow. Oh. oh. Please Jen, it hurts. It's getting so hard. Please let me out? Hum. Let me think. No. I haven't heard quite enough gratitude yet. Keep going. Thank you so much Mistress Jen for flushing my week, come down the toilet. Thank you for letting me eat superior male jism from your well-fucked cunt. Thank you for calling me a faggot, denying me your vagina for all time, and locking my pathetic little clitty away. Very good you cute little fucking fairy. You just turned yourself a small break from your cage. But, only if you thank me for one more thing. Yes Jen. I would be happy to. You are right. Deep down this is what I always wanted. Good. Then thank me for fucking your boss. Huh? Oh my god. Oh, you remember Rick. So, how is our little Chrissy? Well, I just broke the news, so I'm giving her a few minutes, to let the defeat sink in. I take it Marcus was okay with this? Oh, yeah. We'd talked and he agreed that this needed to be done. It is a surefire way to break my cuckold, incompletely. As the cuck, he needs to realize how many more were the alpha males, I'd let fuck me before he ever stood a chance. He needs to let go of his resentment towards superior men, his beautiful wife turning to his powerful boss, for the pleasure he could never hope to provide, will be quite humbling. Ha <laughs> ha. I bet. So how was it? It was pretty good, but he's no Marcus. Bull Daddy wanted me to use a condom with Rick. It works out anyway, because now Chrissy has a little treat for later. You know I really am proud of our little wimpy hubbies. Yes. They really have shown how devoted they are, to making us happy, and allowing us to unveil their true nature. Yes, we sure are some lucky hot wives. Not as lucky as they are to have us. Ha <laughs> ha. Totally. Speaking of, how is Georgie handling his surprise? I was just about to give little Georgie his. I'm sure he's going to love it. 